All right, today, folks, I'm getting my Acorn Kamado set up for indirect heat smoking. Got my lump charcoal. I'm getting this started. Remember when you put your chunks in that you don't want to put them right on top of your fire that just started. Put them right on the, out on the perimeter, and then that way they'll start smoking as it spreads out into the outside part. So I'm about to put my smoke stone on. Got my smoke stone in now. About to put my grate back up my grill grate on, close her down, open up the vents, get her set up for about 300 degrees. Hey everybody, Big Papa from Big Papa's Barbecue. Today I'm gonna to be doing a side dish. We always do meat, we always learn how to cook meat, but you always gotta have something to eat with your meat. So I'm gonna give you something that you can put along with just about anything, chicken, beef, uh, fish, whatever it is, uh, some good smoked four cheese macaroni and cheese will go with it no matter what it is. So I'm just gonna go through the ingredients that you're gonna need right quick. Um, to start off with, of course, you're gonna need a pound of noodles. I like to use the cavatappi. This cavatappi is the spiral cut uh, noodles. That's what I like to use. So one pound of cavatappi noodles. Um, I've already pre-cooked them. They are uh, al dente. They're not done all the way through. They're still kind of crunchy. Um, when we're cooking it, it'll soak up the rest of that juice and they'll turn out just perfect. You're gonna need a pound of bacon. I'll show you about that later. You need one pound of sharp shredded cheese. You need a half a pound or eight ounces of Fontina cheese and you need a eight ounces of smoked Gouda cheese. You're gonna need one cup of panko breading. You're gonna need two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue rub, barbecue spice. Today I'm using some from my friends at Smoky Joe, uh, Sweet Smoky Joe's Creole Kick. So you're gonna need two tablespoons of whatever rub you like. This is the one I'm using today. You're gonna to need a, about a teaspoon of your favorite all-purpose seasoning. Today I'm using uh, Heavenly Made, it's incredible. It's a very good all-purpose seasoning, something to start off with, uh, very good. All of these things you can actually get at sweetsmokyjoes.com or you can come, if you're around the Hot Springs, uh, Arkansas area, you can go and see them on Albert Pike at Sweet Smoky Joe's. Some good friends of mine, uh, either go on Facebook, go online and see them, or on YouTube also. Next thing we're gonna need is you're gonna need four tablespoons of flour, you're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese, you're gonna need one stick of butter, and one pint of half and half creamer. And now we're gonna show you everything that you're gonna need. I've got my smoker uh, set at about 300 degrees. I'm cooking on the uh, Acorn Kamado today. I've got my iron skillet already in there getting preheated. The first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make the cheese sauce. And to do that, you're gonna need your stick of butter and you're gonna need your flour first. What we're gonna do first is we're just gonna make a roux. Uh, it'll be butter will melt down, put the flour in there, stir it up, make a paste out of it, make a roux out of it. Then we'll start incorporating all the cheese to make the cheese sauce. Like I said, I've already got it in there preheating. So you just take your butter, put it in your pan, let it start melting down. What I might do on this one uh, is make two different dishes of macaroni and cheese because we've talked about this before. My lovely wife, she doesn't eat pork. And I'm gonna put bacon in my version. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably make half of it now and half of it later. So if you see me cutting the ingredients, don't be alarmed. That's the reason why. So I'm gonna let about half of this melt down and I'm gonna pull the, the butter out. So you get that butter melted down, then you wanna to to take about half of this flour and just start stirring it in. Like I said, what you're doing is you're just making a, a simple roux. This will start getting thick. Next thing you want to do is you're going to take about half of your cheese, your cheddar cheese. It's already starting to get ooey gooey. Your Fontina. Next, you'll take half of your cream cheese. Teaspoon. 
spoon of your all-purpose seasoning on to go in also. You might think this is kind of looking a little juicy. That's okay because once you put those noodles in there, the noodles are going to soak up some of that juice, going to soak up some of that cheese, and it's going to turn out perfect. All right, that's about the consistency that you want. It's all melted down. Next step that we're going to do, we're going to bring the noodles and start incorporating them in. You just want to make sure that those are covered good with the cheese. They get wrapped up in the cheese. All right, once you get those, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and make our breadcrumbs. So to make the breadcrumbs, this is where the bacon comes in. I mean, who doesn't like bacon? Of course, my wife doesn't like pork bacon, but this is my handy dandy uh, pan food processor that I have. And we're gonna take the bacon, it's one pound of bacon that would have already cooked and crisped up. I didn't drain the fat on there. You don't, you don't wanna drain the fat from it because that's gonna be the fat that's gonna be in your breadcrumbs that is gonna hold it together and brown it. So you just put that in your handy dandy home uh, handheld food processor. Do it just a little bit more. Okay, now that we've got our macaroni and cheese on, we're gonna leave it on the acorn Kamado for about 45 minutes to an hour at 300 degrees, 275 to 300 degrees. Come and take a look at it in about 45 minutes. See if it's browned up and crisped up on top. And then you'll pull it out and let it cool down. All right, after we've been on for about an hour, come back here, take a look at it, and ooh, look at that. Nice and browned on top, ooey gooey and bubbly. So we'll wanna go ahead and take it off and let it rest. And you got a ooey gooey side dish. For anything that you're going to cook on your smoker, it'll be good for beef, chicken, fish, whatever you put on your smoker, pork. This is a side dish to go with it. All right, we've let the macaroni and cheese just sit down and cool down and settle down just a little bit. Most of all, so it wouldn't burn my mouth to death when I tried it because I'm ready to try some. So let's scoop some up here. Oh, and look at that, all the ooey gooeyness. There's nothing better than a good homemade mac and cheese. Let's try a little bit. Oh, my goodness. The creaminess of the cream cheese with that little bit of sour, sour taste mixed with the fontina and the gouda, gouda, which makes it ooey gooey, smooth and cheesy and the sharp taste of the cheddar, the little hint of bacon on top. You can hear the crunch of the topping. Man, this is so good. You serve this at your next barbecue and you'll be the hit of the block. Thank you for joining me. Remember, subscribe, like, share, comment. Y'all have a great day and God bless.